This road leads to failure. This is what is never suspected because this was never wanted. This is the last place we want to look. I know this can sound bleak, but it's not. It's freedom itself. Realizing there was never a problem to solve. All solutions have been tried, and all bargaining chips are spent. This is embodiment of despondency. When speakers say, surrender, they mean it. Like raising the white flag on the battlefield. Like lying down and dying. 100% giving up. Not because it's fun. Or because there is a wanting for this. No. It's more because there is a beating into submission. And you are broken. Battered and completely humiliated, lying in the ditch with no strength to get up, no more energy to fight the good fight. That's when it happens. The blood and mud you are laying in becomes the clearest, most beautiful vision of peace. The pride and arrogance of agency seeps from us into the earth. No more responsibility. No more will. This is nothing like finally getting it right and receiving a pat on the head and a cookie. This isn't worthy of admiration. This liberation I'm speaking of is freedom from the right way and the wrong way. And there can be disappointment and mourning the idea of winning the game. Did it ever occur to you that the way to win the game is to utterly fail at it. No one wins. The prize was here all along. The mysterious, alive, shifting appearance is the prize. Exactly how it appears. This prize is the whole shebang Not only what is preferred, but what is not preferred. And as this great humbling occurs, it can be seen that nothing actually changed. Even though everything is different. Meaning most of what we don't prefer still arises. What triggered us before, or even still, doesn't magically disappear because we are finally humbled. We were on a journey, in a dream, ever trudging forward to reach the elusive, incomprehensible that. Ever that just out of our reach. We long for that in the future, just ahead. That 
is the divine carrot on a stick. That is all I need. I must reach that, no matter the cost or energy spent. But we never reach that because there is no that. That was always this, what we really longed for, this, this as it is, just this. It never occurs to us when we are seeking because this doesn't live up to our conditioned standards. This can't be it. This isn't good enough for me. This is the cosmic joke when it is seen that that was always this for no one. There can be a laughing and crying simultaneously like a fish that finally found the water. As seekers, we believe that this should appear in some acceptable way to me. And that's simply not true. This belief is the root of suffering. Seeking always implies a that that is other than this. We must seek that, work towards it, acquire knowledge of it. But this is this, requiring nothing at all. This needs not be salt. No knowledge can make this more this. The amount of energy available when seeking expires, is voluminous. The space, now free, for just what is, is expansive. This is described as unconditional love because it is finally allowed to be what it is, unconditionally. No matter what arises, it is free to arise, as it always was. There is only freedom, only liberation. This is all. So any fantasy that it could be other than this cannot interminably survive. There is nothing to do. This is already at peace, despite appearances. This is the peace that passes all understanding. Concepts can't touch what is. This can sound as if some exclusive individuals have this peace, while others do not. We assume that because we are triggered and experience intense emotions and mind storms that we do not yet have this peace. This is the illusion that is finally seen through. This equanimity is in and with the triggers, despite them. The peace arises with the fear, rage, sorrow, and helplessness. 
because it is seen to be simply this, what is, and it can be no other way. When there is truly no choice, no other possibility for this to arise differently, because there is no one to change this, then this peace is all-inclusive of everything. We become blind to right and wrong, shoulds and should nots. No one becomes enlightened. No one dies, but there is a death of something that never was. The death of the possibility that this can be other than what it is. There is peace when there is no peace. All is well, despite apparent unwellness. Everything is good when nothing is good. Is this what you wanted? What you thought the carrot would finally taste like? No. We wanted to conquer the pain and be victorious. To be worthy of a special bubble that protects us from the suffering. To rebuke the demons and become angels. We never suspected them to be the same. Even. Equally valuable. All-inclusive. We want to have our cake and eat it too. When we are seemingly lost, that too is this. This is what is seen. If this can actually be heard, there can be a great giving up, an irrevocable, all-pervading surrender. This submission can only happen for no one. No individual can surrender. There can be a natural death while still apparently living and a great compassion for the innocence of all appearances. Nothing excluded. Nothing added. A stunning spectacle of light ever dematerializing into a black hole. 